Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about CSAP this keyword. This keyword in CSAP is very important concept and I have seen many developers have confusion about this. So that's why I came up with this video. In this video, I'll explain what actually this keyword is and also we'll discuss about its uses. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. C sharp this keyword. C sharp this keyword refers to the current instance of a class. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples shown over here. So there is a class named my class under my namespace. So here I have declared quantity as an in data type. And then there is a parameterized constructor that accepts one parameter named quantity of the in data type. If you notice class variable name and the constructor parameter name are same. Right. Okay. So here inside the parameterized constructor, I have written this dot quantity is equal to quantity. So here what I'm doing is I'm assigning the parameter value to the instance field because this represents current instance of a class and then I am just printing this keyword to the console window right okay so now there is a main method which is an entry point of the application here I have instantiated the my class by calling its parameterized constructor and passed integer value 5 to it so it will call my class constructor and its parameter value 5 gets assigned to the instance field quantity what I am doing I am just printing this keyword to the console window okay and then in the next statement in the main method, what I'm doing, I have written this console.writeLine statement. And this console.writeLine statement is basically printing this object, right? Object of this my class. It is going to get printed into this console window. And if you see the output right hand side, it prints two statement and both statements are same, which is my namespace dot my class, right? The first statement got printed by the console.writeLine statement written in my class constructor my class parameterized constructor where I was printing this keyword and second statement got printed from the main method of this console.writeLine statement where I am printing obj which is an instance of this my class and both console.writeLine statements print the same thing that you are seeing over here my name is space dot my class my name is space dot my class right so it clearly depicts that this keyword refers to the current instance of a class at the class level okay Okay, so now let's talk about this keyword uses. Number one, to make the distinction between instance variable and the parameters when they have the same name. So we saw that in the example discussed just some time back where instance variable and the parameter name are sharing the same name quantity, right? Here if you see this is the end quantity and this is the my class where the parameter name is the same, right? Okay, so to make the distinction between the instance variable and the parameter, we added this dot to the quantity so that it will represent that is the instance field, right? Let's suppose we do not write uh, this dot, we just write quantity is equal to quantity. Then what will happen? If we, if we are going to print this quantity into this console window, then zero value is going to get printed, which is the default value of the end because if there is a name conflict between the instance variable and the parameter name. It is going to use the instance variable instead of the parameter variable. So it's a very important point we need to keep in mind whenever we are having this name conflict, right? Okay, number two, this as an object argument. So basically we can use this keyword as an object argument. Number three, we can use this keyword to invoke the constructor in the same class number four we use this keyword to declare a csap indexer number five we use this keyword in the extension method okay now let's go add one by one all these use cases with examples this as an object argument so here we are going to see the use cases of this as an object argument this keyword can be used to pass the current object as an argument to a method okay let's see this example to understand it better Okay, so there is a class my class under my namespace. Okay, so here I have declared two variable int a int b and this is a uh, default constructor, right? My class where I have assigned a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10. And there is a my method. Here what I am doing, I am just writing my class obj. So basically I am expecting obj, object of my class as a parameter in this my method okay and then i'm just writing this statement console.writeLine a and b so basically this these two statement is going to print the value of a and b okay and there is a print method 
in print method i am just calling this my method which is defined above right here just now i have discussed so here what i am doing i am just passing this keyword and this keyword represents an object of the current class right so that's what this my class obj it is going to be accepted as an argument right and there is a main method which is an entry point of this application so here what i am doing i am instantiating this my class with the uh, default constructor the default constructor it will be calling it will be creating an instance of this my class and this assigning this value 5 and 10 value to a and b respectively right and then i am just calling this print method with the help of this object of my class and that's what i have written obj.print so what will happen this print method is going to get invoked and then inside that i am invoking this my method and this my method is now get invoked from this print method and then here i am passing this so this i mean the instance it is going to get captured over there and whatever the instance that i have put it over there we are printing this console dot right line a and b into this console dot right line right right line so if you see the output a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10 got printed so basically in this examples i just want to show that we can use this keyword as an object argument and that's what i have passed this as an object argument to the my method over here so we can pass this as a parameter right so that's a very important use cases of this keyword this to move the constructor in the same class so here we are going to see another use case of the this keyword by which we are going to invoke the constructor in the same class okay so let's try to understand with the help of examples on over here so the, here there is a class my class under my name is base so here there are two constructor one accepts two input parameters and the second one input parameters respectively so this constructor it is going to accept two input parameters int a int b and inside this constructor i am writing this statement right console dot write line constructor my class int a int b got called why i am writing these things i just wanted to show that this statement got printed from this constructor itself okay now there is another constructor as i said that is going to accept only one input parameter and here what i am doing i am invoking the constructor this constructor that has two parameters and that's the way we are going to invoke that colon this 5 and 10 basically i am just passing two input parameters 5 and 10 and this is the way we are going to invoke another constructor inside the class and for that this keyword is going to be used over here and that's what i have written this 5 10 so that is the important point i just wanted to show via this example okay so here in this constructor what i have done i have written console dot right line constructor my class int c called i just printed this statement because i just wanted to show that this statement got printed from this constructor itself and there is a main method which is an entry point of this application so what this main method does is it is going to instantiate this my class by calling this constructor that is going to accept one input parameter and what is the parameter i am passing i am passing five value to it so basically this constructor is going to get in back but we have written call on this so basically what will happen first it will go and call this constructor that is going to accept two input parameters so eventually it is just going to call this constructor first and this statement is going to get executed first and then once this statement got executed then it is going to execute the statement which is written under this this constructor of single parameter and that's what this statement is going to get executed after that okay if you see the output shown over here first statement got printed from this this constructor where it is having two input parameters right and that's what this statement got printed constructor my class int a int b called right similarly after execution this statement control comes and then it is just going to get executed this and that's what this statement got executed and printed over here right so that's the way how we are going to invoke the constructor in the same class this to declare a c-sharp indexer so here we are going to see another huge case of this keyword so this keyword can be used to declare a c-sharp indexer so if you are not aware about the c-sharp indexer what it is i have created a detailed video on c-sharp indexer you can watch and learn about it i will give my video link in description section of this video and also somewhere at right hand corner you must be seeing its link 
Anyway, in nutshell, indexer allows objects of a class to be indexed just like arrays. Indexer is just like the properties except that their accessors take parameters. If you see this example shown over here, public int this int param get return array param set array param is equal to value. And that's how we are declaring the csap indexer. As I said earlier, you can watch my csap indexer video where I explain indexers in detail. This keyword in the extension method. So here we are going to talk about the, this keyword, how it is going to be used in the extension method. So this keyword can be used as a modifier to make an extension method for the type of that parameter. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples. Whenever we are going to create any extension method, we need to define as a static method and in the static class. And that's what I have written public static class my extension. This is the class that is the static class. Inside that I have written this method. Public static bool is valid email address. And here I have used this keyword. It's very, very important. And that's what this is the use case that I'm going to discuss about that. How we are going to use this keyword in the extension method. This keyword is making this extension method for this string type. And that's what we have written this string str email. So whatever validation for the email is going to happen, we have written the code for that. And it is just returning the Boolean value, whether it's a true or whether it's a false. Okay, if email address is valid, then uh, return value would be the true. Otherwise, it is false. So that's how we are going to write this extension method. If you are not aware about this extension method and its uses, I have created a detailed video on this concept. You must be seeing this link somewhere upper right corner. You may watch it. And I will also give this link in description of this video. Okay, now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we saw what csap this keyword is and learn how and when to use them, right, in different, different cases. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.